what is going on everyone it is all things mario here and as you can tell from yesterday's i guess kind of review video on mario strikers battle league i am a big fan of this game so far i really like what i've been playing and although it's not perfect i've had a blast playing through it and that kind of got me thinking what is the best character in this game each character has different stats and abilities so is there one that stands out above the others i've already put many hours into this game and felt there was only really one way to analyze each player accordingly and that is to go through their stats first off and see kind of what each character specializes in. We have Mario with the technique but kind of an all around player and his brother Luigi who kind of is very similar with a little bit more technique. Then you have Bowser who's good as his strength and shooting which is pretty important in this game. And then you have Peach who is very fast, the fastest player in the game. Then Rosalina who is good at strength and shooting. Then you have Toad, who's a decent all around, but usually very fast. We then have our boy Yoshi, who is a specialty in shooting and is pretty good at passing. We then have Donkey Kong, the OG meme, who is strong and a good passer. And then we have Wario, the big man himself, who is stronger than DK, surprisingly, and a pretty good shooter. And then we have our boy Waluigi, who is a good strength and speed guy and has some good technique in him too. So what I did to kind of try to see which player is the best and to see what they are good at and what they are not good at is I put four players together and analyzed one player on a team for each game. So I had four games where I put them together facing a group of random players and try to analyze and use them the most that I could to see what they are good at, what they are not good at, and basically how they pair up to the other characters. So obviously, I played a lot of games where I used different players and kind of took each game as a sort of kind of scouting model for each player, if you can call it that, where I would play a game, primarily try to use that character and see what they were good at, what they kind of struggled with, and what they could do better at, and basically how they played the overall game. After many hours of playing countless games and trying to critique and analyze every individual aspect of a character or a player, I finally came to the conclusions of which player is the best and which player is the worst and everything in between. So I decided why not just try to find the best character but also rank each character, in my opinion of course, based on what I've seen and what I've played so far. Sadly coming in at last place and number 10 is our boy Luigi. Now, Luigi, now first off, none of these players are bad. They're all good in their own rights. But to me, Luigi just kind of seemed like the weakest of the bunch, unfortunately. He's not that much different than Mario, just has a little bit less shooting power and a little bit more technique. But whenever playing with him, it's just, it's nothing special. He doesn't really feel that strong, that fast, that good at shooting compared to everyone else. Yeah, he has the most technique, but to me, I don't really tell a difference in that when playing as Luigi. Uh, it's unfortunate they gave someone like Luigi uh, kind of the worst stat line and kind of the worst playability wise, but he's still a good player and he's all our favorite Mario brother. Speaking of the other Mario brother, at number 9, we have Mario himself. Now there's not really too much to say about Mario, he's kind of the same as Luigi except a little better in shooting and speed, um, as you know in every Mario spin-off game. Mario is always kind of the average guy, the default character, so he's still a good character, but there's not really a lot to him as he will always be the average and default Mario character. Number 8, we have everyone's favorite, Little Man Toad. Now Toad, although the smallest character in the game, packs a heavy punch when it comes to speed as he is tied with Peach for being the fastest character in the game. Now unfortunately for Toad, his speed is the only thing that's keeping him not at the bottom of this list, as he is very lackluster in terms of strength as well as shooting and technique. Now don't get me wrong, he can still tackle the biggest guy on the field, but that involves his tackle meter going up to the fullest, and if not, he'll just bounce off of him. And even if it gets to the fullest and it hits him, it's not some big attack. If At most, if he hits a Bowser or something, Bowser will be in the ground for two seconds and then get back up. Although Toad is a small character, he does pack a good punch with the speed, but I can't rank him any higher than eight. Coming in at number seven, it's Yoshi. Now, Yoshi has the pristine honor of having the best shooting skills in the game. He also has very good passing abilities, but when it comes to these two statistics, shooting and passing, I consider them to be on the less important side of this game, as don't get me wrong, they're very important and crucial to have, but 
These stats just feel kind of minimal compared to the other ones being strength, speed, and technique are ones that you can actually tell a difference of in the game. Because really anyone in the game can make a good shot or a good pass. So although Yoshi is a pretty solid character, he lacks some of the core strengths and speeds and techniques that I feel like a good or a better character has. At number 6 we have everyone's favorite meme, Donkey Kong. Now Donkey Kong is kind of a mixed bag in this game for me as he is a very fun player to play as. He's enjoyable, he's strong, and he's got some good passing and shooting on him. However, when it comes to strength, there are a lot, a, I shouldn't say a lot, a decent amount of players that are stronger than him. His shooting is decent and his passing is, is pretty good itself. But as for the speed and technique, it's very uh, lackluster and very minimal compared to the others. So that's why I kind of have him placed in the middle of the pack. He's still an all around fun player to play as, but his stats just kind of even out to be an average player in this game for me. At number 5, we have Wario. Now, Wario is basically kind of the same character as Donkey Kong, except he has a little bit of better stats. He is stronger than Donkey Kong, as stated previously, and he has better shooting than Donkey Kong, which to me kind of make him edge out Donkey Kong in those aspects, but they play very similarly. They are very strong, and they can take good shots and have some good passes in them too. Wario is also a pretty fun player to play as. He takes some getting used to as he is a heavy set, so he is a lot slower, but the strength and the technique and the shooting does make up for it. Even though shooting isn't the biggest aspect in this game, I do think he is a very powerful player and probably the second best big man in this game, as you can tell, of which would be number one. At number four, we have Princess Peach. Now, Princess Peach is a tricky one to rank because she has stats that are kind of similar to Toad's, but she also seems to play and perform a lot better in game from what I've played and seen from her. She is also, like I've said previous, the fastest player in the game along with Toad, but she also has some really nice technique, and even though she's not the strongest, in fact one of the weakest players, she still seems to be able to tackle players easier and a lot better than Toad. Peach is just a character that feels very smooth to play as and is very helpful when uh, in a team sport game with her speed, her technique, and her good shooting abilities. Overall, I say she's a very solid character and really edges out a lot of those powerhouses and strong people in this game just based off her speed and technique alone. At number 3 we have Boss Man Bowser, the strongest player in the game who also has one of the best shots in the game. Now Bowser is kind of OP in this game as his tackles are insanely strong and effective and you can just kind of spend the whole match just having Bowser not even touch the ball but just tackle everyone in the way so that the other player can score a goal. It's also just so fun to play as him and use him, tackle everyone and just get good shots off, really powerful shots. Now, although he also does lack in speed, kind of like the other heavy players in this game, but I do think his, uh, his technique and his uh, shooting and strength in this game really kind of overpower that so that even though he isn't fast, you can kind of surround him with other fast players and you would still have a solid team and very fun playing with Bowser. The second best player in Battle League is none other than our boy Waluigi himself. And Waluigi to me is OP in this game. I don't know what it is about it, he doesn't have any insane stats that really kind of differentiate him from the other players, but his stat line is just so solid and he's such a good player to play as. He has high strength, high speed, and high technique. The only things that are a little on the low side would be shooting and passing, but when you play as Waluigi you can't even really tell that. He tackles and hits just like the biggest guy on the field. He's fast and can catch up to anyone, and even makes precise passes that always either lead to goals or a good opportunity. Maybe Nintendo actually watched my Waluigi video and decided to give him some recognition and something to stand for. And of course, coming in at number one, the best player in Mario Strikers Battle League is Rosalina. Rosalina makes her debut here in the Mario Strikers series, and what a debut it was, being unanimously the best player in this game. I mean really, let's take a quick look at her stat line. She has good strength, shooting, and technique. Now on paper, those don't sound too impressive, but when you play as her, even though her speed is really low in this game, she floats. So the speed, it kind of doesn't even make relevance, it doesn't even make a difference because she's still fast somehow even though her stats don't show that. She can tackle Bowser any day of the week and make precise and fun and easy passes to the next player to make a pristine goal. 
She also has very good shooting ability as she can make half court shots, or sorry, in basketball terms, half field shots, and just really any shot she wants to. She can swoop by players magically using the power of her lumens, I guess, and just be an overall very fun player to play as in Mario Strikers Battle League, which makes Rosalina stand at the top of the character roster in Battle League. So that's it for the video, and remember to take this with a grain of salt, as this is just my opinion and my experience with what I've played through. You can have whatever favorite character you want, and whatever one you think is best. Speaking of that, if you've played the game, what is your favorite character? What do you think is the worst character, or drop your full list in the comments. If you haven't gotten it yet, do you plan on getting it, or are you just not impressed with the game? Let me know in the comments, and feel free to drop a like and sub, and thank you for the support, and I will see you next video.